Hey guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to get on here really quick and do a really quick story time about something that happened to me over the 4th of July weekend. Um, last Sunday, the day before the 4th of July, but some of my really good friends, um, we went to this club um, opening downtown called Club Cameo. We Ubered to the club. Uber to the club was perfect. Well, actually we did kind of have a little bit of problems. The first Uber, she kept canceling on us. And then anyway, so once we finally got to the club, um, that was fine. There was no problems there. We went to the club had a blast at the club, like a complete blast. So we, it's time to leave, we request our Uber and we get inside the Uber. So um, I was the one who, like we all split the Uber, but it was going on my card. So I was the one who was paying attention to how much Uber rides were and things like that. So to get downtown, my friend whose house we were leaving from wasn't far at all. So to get downtown, the Uber was like $6. Well, it ended up being like 11 once I really looked at it, but it wasn't really that long at all. So, um, on the way going back, he didn't, the Uber driver, he wasn't going, the, he missed his turn or something, but somehow we end up on the freeway and we end up taking this extra long route. Plus it was surge time, which is, I guess this new thing when Uber, Ubers are in popular demand, they charge you more. Um, so the Uber almost be, ended up being $20. And so I was kind of already annoyed because I feel like he took us completely out the way. And I feel like sometimes Uber drivers and cab drivers do that to get more money. So I was already kind of annoyed about that. And I told him, like, I'm kind of irritated because you went and took us completely out of the way. Um, and you didn't have to. And now we're going to have to pay, like, you know, more money or whatever. And he's like, oh, please forgive me, whatever. So um, I'm in the car. Uh, my other friends in the front seat and then my best friend, um, she's next to me sleep because... You know we're tired or whatever so we get out the car and go in the house and basically everybody passes out we get up the next morning um, and I'm supposed to be going to work we get up to go take me to work and as we're walking out the door my best friends like where's my phone and I'm like oh my god did you leave in uber instantly I'm like did you leave in uber because nobody really checked to make sure everybody had everything we just literally came in the house and she was just passed out so like everybody went to sleep basically so um, we're like, oh my goodness, like, let me call the Uber. So I'm calling the Uber, calling the Uber, calling the Uber. He's not answering our phone calls. Mind you, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. So he could potentially have been asleep. So we're calling, 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 calling. Finally, he answers the phone. He's being super duper rude to us because he's like, you guys threw up in my car. You guys are being disrespectful. You guys were being drunk. And we're like, what are you talking about, sir? No, we didn't. Like, maybe you have us confused with another client, but that was not us. So he's constantly hanging up on us. <clears throat> and we're like, please, we just want to see if the phone is still in the car. Like, that's a super duper expensive phone. And like, people don't have money to just be going to get phones again you know what I mean so he's like well so he keeps saying no I'm not gonna look whatever whatever and then we finally explain like remember we're the people who you took the extra long route with and you're apologizing to us can you please go look like please 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 he's like oh okay I didn't know it was you guys I thought it was somebody else so he goes to look so he put us on hold while he went to go look we really thought he was looking he said no I didn't see the phone so um, he's like, well, I think the people that I picked up after you guys actually took the phone. You should track the phone and see where it is. So you guys know if any of you guys have an iPhone that they do have that track my iPhone thing on there, which I thought never worked. So we were like, let's just give it a shot. I mean, why not? So you go on to the track my iPhone thing and basically we've tracked the iPhone. It literally gives us an address. So we hop in the car and we're all like, okay, we're going to get this phone. Like, I don't know what we thought we were going to do when we got there. Like we didn't call the police or anything. We just were like, we're going to just go and just see if we can get the phone. And then if they're trying to like act like, oh no, we don't have it, then we're going to call the police. So we get in the car, we're going to this address. As soon as we're getting close to the address, the phone starts moving. So when you do do the track my iPhone thing, it locks. Like it tells you, hey, on the message, it says my phone is been stolen like call this number so I, I kind of feel like if somebody had your phone it would kind of alert them so I'm calling the phone luckily her phone was not dead so um, nobody's answering obviously so we're following this phone around so the phone is literally like every time as we're driving they're driving so we're literally following them and updating the address as we're going so we literally drove all the way from Golden Valley so which is where we started to over to St. Paul to through Bloomington to the Mall of America to the airport and then somewhere far over by like I don't know Mendota Heights or whatever so super duper far and we finally get to an address where the phone has stopped we pull up to an SA gas station and lo and behold we see 
the Uber driver, in the same car that he picked us up in last night. So instantly, we're like, this man is playing games with us because we have now tracked the phones inside of his car. So my best friend pulls up her car. Well, we try to like um, wave him down, but he kind of like was starting to drive off. So she like basically pulled her car like to make sure he couldn't get away. Gets out the car, goes over. He's like, dude, we just checked our phone. It's in your car. You said it wasn't in here. Like we don't know what's going on because given that he probably really didn't look, we don't know what's going on. You're telling us to track the phone and it's in your car. It looks suspicious. You know what I mean? So we're going, we go in the car. My best friend goes and she's like, I need to get in the car right now. Search your car. He's like, well, I hope you find it. I hope you find it. Like, I'm not on anything funny. Like, blah, 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 blah. We're like, we're going to call the police. Like, if you don't let us search your car. So we're looking all over the car, looking all over the car. I look under the driver's seat and I find her phone. So we finally get her phone, so we leave. We pull off whatever to the side and we're like, dude, that, that literally just happened. Like we literally just ran all over the world because we started to think that we weren't gonna get the phone because it was taking us in circles and everything like that as far as driving all around. That literally took us like an hour to do that. So we didn't think we were gonna actually like get it back. It was just so freaking crazy. Like, I don't know, still till this day, I kind of feel like maybe he just didn't look for the phone and he said that he did because if he had looked for the phone, the place I told him to look was underneath his seat. You know what I mean? So I don't know, I don't know what he was on, but I guess he like was trying to say we were trying to rob, he was trying to say we were robbing him even though like he was the one that had something in our possession and he wasn't trying to give it back to us so as we pulled over he drives by and he's like trying to take our picture and like record us and take a picture of my um, best friend's like driving driving plate and just just doing too much like honestly like we had wrote like in a complaint about him for the taking the wrong route but then we wrote in another one because i just feel like he was extremely rude to us and like he just was not trying to like be accommodating or anything like that and I just feel like yes you know I, I just feel like any type of service is about customer service and I just feel like that situation was so 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 wrong but I just could not believe it like our uber driver tried to steal her phone like tried and then tried to say like we robbed her him I mean like that's so crazy to me like I don't know it was just like a super super crazy story it was super funny um but yeah it was just like unheard of so if you guys have an iPhone and you ever like lose your phone and it's not dead do the lost check uh lost my iPhone thing because it really does work and it really does help you as far as tracking where that phone is down looking back on the situation now like once I started telling like my mom and everything what happened she was just kind of like well, she was right. She was just like, you know, next time you probably, you know, should try to get the police involved or not necessarily drive to them and like be so, you know, upfront about it because that could have really been a really, it could have turned into a violent situation. It was kind of like pushing, pushing it. Like it wasn't violent, but it was a really serious situation as far as how it was going and it could have went really, really left um, if there was other people. So I do agree that really plain but I do agree that you know all the time that probably wouldn't have worked out in our favor is the way that it did but yeah okay guys so that was my story time about the time that our uber driver tried to rob us or our uber driver claimed that we were robbing him I don't know which one I'm going to title this one yet I hope that you guys enjoyed this story time if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you guys are new so that you don't miss any of my future videos and if you guys like these types of videos make sure you give me thumbs up and leave me comments down below and I will tell you guys more stories um it's kind of fun telling you guys stories so just let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see and yeah I guess I'll see you guys in my next video bye